council concerning stuff so that the council members felt that it was necessary to be urgently given the very serious state of affairs in South Sudan. First, I would like to express my condolences and sympathies to the UNP peacekeeping officers who died or injured during their duty. There were some, some Chinese officers killed and several injured. Uh, one, some Rwanda officers were also injured. The Security Council condemned uh, in the strongest terms the escalation of fighting and all attacks and provocations against civilians and United Nations. There was a very strong feeling on this point. The Security Council members urged an immediate end to the fighting by all concerned and demanded that President Kiel and First Vice President Pacha do the utmost to control their respective forces. The Security Council members stressed that the attacks against civilians and UN premises and personnel may constitute war crimes. They also called on and encouraged countries in the region, the African Union Peace and Security Council and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development to continue firmly engaging with South Sudanese leaders to address these crises. The Security Council expressed their vigilance to consider enhancing armies to better ensure that AMIS and the international community can prevent and respond to violence, violence in South Sudan. There was a very strong feeling in the Security Council that it was a very urgent situation and that we need to work very urgently and strongly to try to the situation. A press uh, release will be handed out quite soon. Are there, are there particular countries that, that, that are being looked at in terms of providing additional peacekeepers to UNMIS? Well, um, we don't name names, but as uh, you know, um, as I said, the regional countries are urged to be helpful. And, uh, how it happens, of course, is yet to be seen. Any other questions? Any discussions of an arms of an actual arms embargo or of limiting the use of attack helicopters or other heavy weapons? I think tonight the discussion was centered on the immediate things, the immediate actions. So that was a long time for a pretty. Uh anodyne statement. Uh, Samantha Power on her way out said that regional countries were going to be asked to give peacekeepers. Uh, close viewers might wonder whether that includes Burundi, <laughs> where Mr. Lazus continues to accept peacekeepers charged with rape in the Central African Republic. It seemed like, uh, honestly, there, there also seems to be a process going on in D.C. in which Bakasora and others are... Uh, Soro and others are meeting with uh, U.S. officials, including Susan Rice. So we're going to continue to report on this, but that was what was said at the stakeout. And I think that will be the end, for now, of this. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, would they... Thanks, I was about to turn off, but yeah, Ugandan peacekeepers. In fact, when they went in before, it was, it was uh, like pulling teeth to get them out. So I think the idea that uh, just uh, recruit, rounding up more, more peacekeepers... Uh, seems really a pretty irresponsible uh, response, especially from countries that shepherd the independence and that obviously have leverage and contacts that they're using in a way outside of the multilateral process. All right, I'm going to cut it there, though, and write a story on this. InnerCityPress.com.
Chinese peacekeepers. Well, yeah. there were two uh, more peacekeepers who were injured this evening as we were talking. So and how? Top, that's this thing in Chinese. Huh? How? Evidently, a major question, huh? and I think one that calls for, um, uh, I think, a tentative conclusion that uh, command and control doesn't really work in that country. Thank you. Paul Malong. Has DPKO dealt with Paul Malong? was Hervé Latsou, head of DPKO. Um, he said he has no casualty figures, which memos show to be false, untrue. He did say there were two more injured now beyond the Chinese. Inner City Press reported hours ago on seven injured Chinese, three to four critically. These are from unmissed memos, which presumably he has. Asked if DPKO has dealt with um, Paul Malong, Mr. Paul Malong. Uh, he did not answer, and we'll have more on that. What about the use of attack helicopters? Do you think you could you could do something more precise on the use of particular kinds of weapons? Well, I think the very heavy arms have to be taken out, have to be definitely you know uh, avoided. The, of course, for the, you know police and all the rest, you know these are light arms, provided they are fully controlled. Okay. Thanks. Trust in the blue flag of the UN and believe that that's going to offer some protection. So I'll know more after the meeting. Thank what you. What the role of Paul Thank Malone? Is he someone that should be sanctioned? He's the head of defense. Have you heard of seven injured Chinese peacekeepers? Three and four critically.